careful with intonation. Mm. It's always dangerous. And uh, one more time from there. A string. No, no. The E. It's too sharp. And how about if you lift the finger? A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's much more clear. Because before I hear more glissando than E. I'm sure, uh, it's true. One more time. Yeah, it's still charming. The glissando is still there, but we have a lighter one. Uh, okay, let's go on. All hair. And be careful if you start. Now you have to really, the first millimeter of the, of the bow, use it. Yeah, it's good. And don't get lazy in left hand. You make diminuendo and your left hand fall asleep. I think it's more sensitive and touching and magic if you make the opposite. The right hand relaxes and the left hand gets more intense because when we have a, a less contact to the string like, like this, we can make amazing big vibrato which we cannot do. It would be ugly. But if you do small and now you can keep intensity of beauty of the sound in a diminuendo. Otherwise it's death. Like this, it's nice perhaps and then this is just nothing. It's like a like a ventilator in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, you switch off. But we want to have something like this. Can you try this this E and you you try to relax the left uh, right hand and you keep and perhaps increase intensity of the left hand. And now bigger left hand. Ah, you see this? Did you hear that? That's magic. That's 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 what we that's the difference, you know. You can play all fantastic, but sometimes we have a feeling, wow, this was really <gasps> it touched me. And and that we have to do. Da, 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 one more time. And you can be even increasing the, the amplitude a little bit mm -hmm. when you get here. One more time. Bravo. Maybe you should change the bow. Because the orchestra will be always late. <laughs> so for sure. And then you have a diminuendo because... So maybe you make... You have a downbow here on the A? Yes, on the A. Okay, then my recommendation of the day is... And then... You look the conductor, and the conductor looks at you, and then he reminds you, ah, yes, I have to give you up it. And then the orchestra, ah, yes, we have to play. <laughs> so that takes two seconds. Maybe one. In America, it's less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one more time. Da, 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 da. Crescendo to the top. Exactly. Bah. I recommend that. And the last recommendation for this place is don't get too hard here. Because you mess it. Okay, but it doesn't mean that you have a tension in the right uh, left arm. It's very dangerous because otherwise we have this kind of beton vibrato, which is a little bit hysteric. The vibrato should be always swinging like a like the wing of a bird. It shouldn't be like, like a, you know, when you open the, here in the streets in New York is many times, like this. Not like this. Okay. Can you try last from the, and concentrate that you make a lot of sound here with your left hand. You stay, you try to stay not to, hard and uh, to, to become not too hard, okay? And 
left, right hand. Yeah, I think it's better. Yeah. So what is in general very important for violinists is that we uh, have to separate the left hand and the right hand. It is so important to to be clear about that that we sometimes do totally the opposite. Like in in this one, we give in and the right hand, and at the same time we increase the left hand. But most of the people don't know about that. I think it's very important. And the opposite is a. Uh, To be relaxed in the left hand, while you produce a very broad uh, sound in the right hand. Let's try um, from there. Huh? Right, right on. Yes, right. because you have not so much time. Okay. <laughs> I think the second triplet is a little bit too fast. This one. I don't hear. It's so fast. Maybe you can start a little bit low, slower. And then you are cetera, uh, But then you are cello rate. But um, if you are too hasty, you make yourself also a stress for the big uh, shift to the E and later. But one more time. about to be not because you you increase the intensity you start less and then I don't think it's a good idea to to get the b um, back to the piano so crescendo to the top of the ball and then give it a little <clears throat> okay <laughs> yes and now you get back. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, because the the, the bassoon will be very simple and very uh, piano character, which follows. So it, it's nice to be to lead already to the following character, not to stay in the forte until the the B natural. <laughs> 